So the point is that, you know, when you lower the prospective return way below the historical required return, it doesn't matter whether you have growth in the economy or not. Again, I mean, any, anyone who thinks that, you know, growth has got anything to do with equity returns, you know, have a look at the charts, right? There's a negative correlation, by the way, you know. So it's got nothing absolutely to do with growth. So all these guys who are fixated that, you know, somehow, you know, escape velocity is going to save my, uh, you know, my, my asset prices. Again, you know, they're really, they really haven't looked at the data. The data is very clear is that, you know, uh, growth has got nothing to do with it. What, what really matters is what is, the, what, is the, what is the prospective return on that asset club, okay? And so the prospective return, you know, as, as Bajanath has sort of uh, estimated is about 2% in, in equities and, you know, as we have sort of said, is 1.5% or so if you take a portfolio, uh, a standard portfolio, uh, and the required return has been 8.9% or 6.5%, it tells you automatically that asset prices have to go down by almost 70%. Okay, and that's just for starters before you actually even are going to start to earn the underlying return. And I can guarantee you that if asset prices go down by 70%, they're not going to stop there. They're going to go down all the way to 90%. And by the way, anyone who is telling you that you know, you're going to stop at 30% or 50%, forget about it. We are actually going to get a 90% wipeout in almost most of the equity markets. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to prefer, prefer a time frame. I'm going to tell you it's going to happen in the next five years. Okay. I hope I'm not that, <laughs> that early because <laughs> we still have a lot of things to do before that. <laughs> but, 